Good afternoon. This has been Mason Heimer with Silver Seas Yachts, and today I'm down in sunny San Diego aboard one of my new listings. This is a beautiful boat. It's an Intrepid 4300 Sport Yacht. It's powered by triple Verado 300 engines by Mercury, and they have 618 hours on them. I can't wait to show you this boat because it has so many cool features. The thing is really loaded, and the ride's amazing. It has a 22 and a half degree bottom on it, so real smooth ride, very heavy boat. And again, very clean, loaded with features, owned in the LLC. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, here she is. This is an Intrepid 4300 Sport Yacht. She's a 2010 model. We found her up in the San Juan Islands just over a year ago and uh, brought her on down. She lived a very charmed life, um, staying indoors during the winter and being pulled out for the summer. As you can see, she's got a lot of shine on her. Here's your Verado 300 horsepower engines. It's interesting to note that when you bring them up, they come all the way out of the water. That's a very cool feature. Heading forward, you can see we have very nice walkways. Heading up to the bow, your windshield, stainless, aluminum work, all in very good condition. We have a windless anchor here on the bow. On top of the hard top, we have a spotlight, a FLIR camera, and satellite TV. There is not radar. The uh, past owner and this owner have just used the FLIR camera at night. Here's our cockpit. Very large, very generously sized. We enter just here on the starboard side. Plenty of storage lockers in the floor. These ones here are absolutely massive. These would be used as kill boxes. From the factory, this one would have been designed here in the center as a uh, built in the floor bait tank. It was never rigged because this boat wasn't fished before this owner. He's added these bait tanks. Um, it makes it so you can't install the seat that goes across the transom, but he does have the removable transom seat uh, that will come with the boat. Speakers everywhere. That's something we'll note throughout this video. There's absolutely speakers everywhere. Here we have our dive door. It flips down and makes a dive ladder. Um, just to the right of that, we have a hot and cold water transom shower. And over here we have an ice box training ice box built right in. It's just under here. Okay, so we have a flip out lounge. You push a button and this lounge comes out. Currently, the actuators are not working. It was that way when we purchased it, mainly because the last owner never used it. So we're gonna go ahead and get those. And this will just go ahead, this whole backrest here and this area, backrest comes down, this area comes up and makes a beautiful layout area. Here's our shore power connections. We have fresh and raw, raw water hookups just here. The teak decks, they are a half inch thick and they were installed, uh, custom installed by the last owner. They're absolutely beautiful. Again, more speakers. We have a refrigerator and ice maker here. And as you can see, you can start to see just how deep this boat is under the water when you look down in the bilges. Now this seat, if you press the button here in the front, it tilts up and there's a 7.5 kW uh, Fisher Panda generator just under here. There's Isinglass for the front three sides of the boat. And you have, if you notice, we have air conditioning vents everywhere in this area. Um, quite a bit of air conditioning and heat in this area, so that's really nice. The seating area here that companions to the helm is massive. As you can see, it just wraps on around. We've got a backrest here for laying out. The hard top, again, great condition. Massive hard top, it adds a lot of shade to the vessel. We have a um, helm chair here that will go high and low. It also goes forward and back. It's made by Pompanet. This is some yacht quality stuff here. And so high and low, forward and back. Um, you can see the pedestals. Very high quality, very good condition. Here's our captain's deck. Again, the beautiful teak flooring. So, hours 609, 618, 613. We have a GPS maps 4212 here. This is not a touchscreen. Then we have a 5212 that is a touchscreen. You have all your smart craft, craft gauges. Here's your bow thruster control, FLIR control, tilt helm, ignitions, trims, trim tabs, here's your throttles, here we have our stereo, our autopilot, our ICOM VHF, 
and then a Furuno GPS. Here's your AC and heat controls. And throughout the boat, we have these fish on cup holders that will hold a Yeti cup, so that's very nice. And here's all your breakers here. Heading on down into the cabin, the beautiful quality and finish continues. On the starboard side, we have our galley, plenty of storage, Vitra Frigo drawer refrigerator. Here's your sink. There's not a stove top, but you do have a microwave just here. We have a small sharp television and again, clean, plenty of natural light, beautifully appointed. This settee here will make out into a berth. We have a large V-berth forward, opening port hatches. And when you're in this V-berth, your head would be on this side, feet going that direction, but you have some very good views. Peak and holly floors, these are in beautiful shape. Again, storage is not lacking in this boat. Here's your panel, panel, AC controls for this area and generator controls. You also have your water tank monitor and waste tank monitor in that area. Here's a hanging locker. As we step into our head, you'll see I have the door open. We have a full length mirror, vacuum flush toilet, really nice sink, storage above and below. And then you have a separate shower with opening port light teak flooring, and a bench that you can sit on. There's also storage in there as well. Here we have our midship cabin. Again, we have the full length mirror. Really nice with all the natural light. It's kind of used as a storage area, uh, but the, the bed does go quite a bit, quite a ways underneath this bulkhead here. Again, we have a hanging locker, the floors, air conditioning vents, storage, and opening port light. All right, so we're back up in the cockpit and I wanted to show you this storage area. As you can see, it goes all the way underneath this seat here, under this seat, and it's accessed from both sides. It comes up on gas shocks. Um, one thing I really like about this boat is all the storage area. This boat reminds me of a Tierra Open, but with outboards. Great ride, 42 knot top speed, very quiet running, very smooth. It goes through any types of, of chop. Uh, just a great boat all in all. That's going to conclude this tour of this beautiful 4300 Intrepid Sport Yacht. If you'd like more information about the boat, I'll have the listing linked in the description down below. If you'd like to come see the boat or you need more information, please feel free to give me a call. My number is 949-438-0055. You can also email me. That email address is bin at silverseasyachts.com. Thank you so much for watching. And if you need help in Southern California buying or selling a boat, please give me a call. Clients who mention this video when they call in will receive a special bonus at buying or selling closing. So make sure and pick up that phone. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the water.